Climax Grip Coupling Restraint installation video. Make sure that the pipes are properly supported. Descale the pipe. Check that the pipe is clean from debris and defects and is not out of round. Clean the pipe with water. Lubricate with a water-based lubricant. Do not lubricate bolts. Measure the pipe's outer diameter and make sure the coupling size fits properly. Check the working range on the product label. Mark each pipe end to the minimum required stab depth as indicated on the product label. The HiMax grip has two gaskets, an outer gasket and an inner gasket. To accommodate larger OD pipes, separate the two gasket layers, then pull the inner layer out of the product. Slide the two HiMax grips on both sides of the replacement pipe. Lower the replacement pipe and the two products positioned on it into the ditch. Slide the two HiMax grips from the replacement pipe onto the two existing pipes until they reach the pipe marks. Make sure that the pipes are not touching each other inside the body of the HiMax grip. Tighten the end rings using a torque wrench to the torque shown on the product's label. Use of a torque wrench is required to assure proper sealing. Recharge the line and check for leaks. If any leakage is evident, reduce the pressure in the line and increase the torque by up to 30% for DN40 to 100 and by up to 50% above DN100. Verify again that there are no leaks along the seal. If you want to return the gasket to its place or to reuse the product, you must take out the grip chain first, then put back the inner gasket. Note that the gasket has two gaps, a smaller gap on one side and a larger gap on the other side. Make an eight shape and insert the gasket into its dedicated space. In order to put the chain back in place, note that has a small tooth on each side. Insert the first tooth into the gap in the lower part of the product. Then push hard on the other side in order for the whole chain to fit in.